Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am super excited to be reviewing Dragon USA exclusive figure Heinrich Zim. He's a Falzer Jaeger officer from Ardennes, 1944. Now this is a figure that's been on my top 10 list for a long time now, and I finally got a hold of him, and I'm super excited to be reviewing this figure for you guys. He is really awesome. So let's go ahead, jump right in, and take a look at the box. So there's a great picture of the figure. And here's another one at the top. You can see he's holding his Luger. That's a really cool look. And then there's a third picture of him on the side. There's the back of the box. Okay, and this one came out in 2004. And inside there are a few things. So we've got some medals and insignias that I haven't applied to the figure. And then also an extra pair of hands and a Falzer Jaeger knife there. So awesome box. Let's go ahead and take out the actual figure now. All right guys, here he is. Let's just take a moment and look over the figure. All right, so this is obviously an incredibly impressive figure, um, which is why everyone wants him. Uh, just a really beautiful figure. And um, unfortunately, he is very rare and generally goes for really high prices. I did have to pay a good amount to get this one, but um, you know, I was just so desperate to get him that I put out the money and he's definitely worth it. Um, you, got, you get so much cool stuff with this figure and the quality is just really good. So definitely worth the price at least in my opinion. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and start the review by taking a look at his MP40. So I do have him with his gloved hands on. I think that looks better than just the regular hands. But he holds the MP40 fairly well. You get some cool poses with that. Okay, so here that is. Up close, you got your strap, okay, oops, all right, so cool weapon, and then the highlight here is the Luger, which is not a plastic one, this is actually a metal Luger that they give you, which um, I don't know if any other figures come with a metal Luger, that is really cool. Um, so, very impressed by that. Okay, and the clip comes out, of course. Or the magazine, rather. Alright, and here he is holding the Luger. Alright, so really awesome. Next up, let's take a look at his head sculpt and his cap, which fits really well onto his head. So here's a look at this. Really good quality on this, by the way. So it's got like a soft material up top, and then the, the visor is a hard plastic material. Overall, the quality is really good on this. Okay, and they also give you a Falzer Jaeger helmet here. Um, but I definitely prefer the cap over the helmet. So there's a look at that if you wanted to go with the helmet. But yeah, definitely the cap is the cooler of the two hats that you get. All right, so he's got the scarf over his head. So let me take that off. We'll take a look at his head sculpt. All 
All right, so here's his head sculpt, which is really nice as well. He's got a really cool expression on there. You can see his teeth. So great detailing on there. I think they did a good job with it. And let me put his cap back on so we can take a look at what that looks like without the scarf over his head. All right, so that also looks really awesome. Uh, that's the cool thing about this figure is you can go for a lot of different looks. All right, next up, let's take a look at the equipment you get with this figure. So we've got his holster there for his Luger, of course. You can see a knife sticking out of his smock. All right. Okay, we've got a pair of binoculars there. All right, we've got his ammunition pouch here with a few extra clips for his MP40. A nice belt as well uh, that fits very snugly across his chest or across his stomach area. All right, we've got his knife there. Okay, we've got, I believe this is a map case. All right, and then some more standard German equipment here. Nothing new to show there. All right, so there's a lot of stuff on his belt, but everything fits on very easily. Overall, this, you know, I, I was expecting this figure to be a little tricky to put together, but he actually wasn't too bad, and everything, nothing broke or anything. Everything uh, fit on pretty snugly, so that was definitely good. Seems like there's always something that breaks with these figures, but not with this one. All right, next up we got his smock, which is really awesome. Then underneath of that, you can see his great coat, which I won't take off the actual smock, but you can kind of see his coat underneath of that. And he also has, um, if I were to unclip this, he also has his uniform underneath. So a lot of layers here. All right, there are his pants and then his boots. All right, so like I said, um, what's cool about this figure is you can go for several different looks. Um, you can take off the smock and go with the great coat look, which, I mean, that also would be really cool. Um, you can just go for the visor cap like this without the scarf on, or you could go with the Falzermeager helmet look. I mean, a lot of possibilities here. So um, this is a great figure with, he comes with a ton of accessories and equipment and uh, overall the quality is just fantastic. So um, obviously this is a highly recommended figure. Um, I think that's a no brainer. You can always tell if you go on eBay, this figure is always very rare. And when he does show up, everybody wants him. So, and you know, there's a reason for that. This is a great figure. And um, yeah, if you see him, and even if he is a little pricey, go ahead and pick him up because this figure is definitely worth the money. You get a, a lot of cool stuff here. And that the Luger is a huge standout, by the way. The metal Luger is really awesome. So, all right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.